Welcome to another travel edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. We are here in Athens, Greece. Hey, Kiki. Hello. Welcome to my home in Athens. That's oh, pretty beautiful. Isn't I was just this exquisite. I just walked by some beautiful amenities. They just replenished. It was replenished by Mar and Nicole. Fantastic. Beautiful. Jeffrey, zoom in. First of all, they asked if there was specific fruit that we wanted them to replenish with and they noticed that Jeffrey had eaten a banana and the banana was missing so we said no no, no everything's just perfect and she said perhaps some more bananas and, I mean they're so observant and they go above and beyond it's impeccable is really the only yeah you get spoiled word. if you're here for too long so I'm gonna do yes. a quick uh, shoot out this uh, door because that's the view we're yes. gonna hit this let's do that yes. do this view and And this is this this is the um, the real value here, which, as you can see, this is the uh, parliament. They're doing the changing of the guard down there, and then uh, more important is the Acropolis and the Parthenon, which that view is incredible, right? I mean, it's been there forever. Forever, it's majestic. And then Jeffrey, I wanted you to go back and show that this is the very first site of the very first Olympics back in, I think it was 1870 something. You gotta get that date, but the first Olympics it's ever were held here. in the 1800s. Right there back behind the Parliament building. And the changing of the guard, you can see people are um, crowded down to see that. It happens every hour. And again, it's loud out here. This is a bustling city. It is very busy. There's the square right here. It's and Plaka is over there, if that's a, uh, something that you can You're pointing in these places like, I can't get there fast enough. There's is down here below, the Parthenon, what Kiki was talking about, we're down there. There's a lot of restaurants and bars. We've got some shorts. Yes, Jeffrey, quickly get one view of this gorgeous um, balcony. It's all marble. And check out the, the um, balcony railing. It's Lots of action, obviously, lots of activity here. All right, back into the peaceful abode. So um, this is great. Walking in here, I just went by all these great closets. So we got plenty of closet space. Plenty of closets. There's a beautiful safe um, in one of these closets. I love when you come into a room and there's like a little entryway or a key drop area. Um, in this case, a beautiful little spot for all of the little sweet treats that they've left. Um, a little desk here, we got some work. There was also a pun check-in. In addition to all of that, a beautiful box of gorgeous baklava. I wish I could show it to you, but somebody gobbled it up last night after he had a fantastic evening out, but he saved himself for dessert until he got back. Oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. So you've got a great desk. Check out the mirror and check out the the woodwork, um, the grates. I mean, everything is absolutely perfection. Uh, there's a great mini bar under here. This is beautiful burled walnut. Even the doors, check behind you, that's a connecting door to a, uh, the connecting room. All burled wood. And then in here is the bedroom. Again, look at these doors. These are just gorgeous. Check this out, Jeffrey. Yeah, it's, it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, there's so many things that I love about this hotel, basically everything. But check out this headboard. It's yeah, it's gorgeous. gorgeous yeah. But it's elegant, but not ostentatious. I'm not a big fan of carpet, but it's very interesting at this particular hotel. I don't mind it because it feels very in keeping with the period and it feels very, uh, you know, Greek and like it's supposed to feel. Everything is just, I mean, incredibly beautiful. We showed you the two classes up front. There's another area here. So I have commandeered this area um, and Jeffrey has commandeered the other. But just to show you, I mean, there's so much closet space, right? Yeah, it's great, incredible. So incredible, and I love, um, I did take this because I felt this was
probably more the ladies area with the mirror and there's a, a great little um, vanity there in the bathroom I love a tub there's so many things in here I have to point out First of all, Jeffrey and I took a bath this morning. We used our bath salts. They immediately refreshed them. That's great. And I love, this is just beautiful. One thing to note in here is the marble work, which is stunning. There are huge pieces of marble on the walls. So that's a, that is one whole piece up there. And I noticed in the floors, there's big pieces, big tiles, and the shower as well absolutely gorgeous yeah this is quite nice on the shower you don't see this often right that is a steam function so it's a nice steam shower so i had a beautiful steam here this morning this place is just fantastic we're only here for two days which basically is probably all we really need to I see some so. of the sites here in greece and we're off to some of the islands but this is fantastic it's it's a great stop oh my goodness i don't think um the city itself for us is it warrants more than two days. I think we can do everything that we want, but I would move into this hotel because it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I love two sinks and I love the way that they set this up where they're far enough apart where you feel like, you know, you have your own space. Again, fret robes. Who doesn't love that? They're so thick and just, oh, Jeffrey and I were lounging in these when we came home last night out on that gorgeous balcony that we showed you. And I cannot be more grateful for that balcony. Um, yeah, that, that is incredible, I have to say. Um, when we read reviews of this place, they said make sure you get upstairs early for breakfast because the breakfast is fantastic. It's on an eight floor, eight floor rooftop bar. By the way, uh, we're on the seventh floor, so the eight floor rooftop bar where we had breakfast was just above us for the best viewing of the right. um, Acropolis and Parthenon. Oh my goodness. So um, we've got it right here from our own private deck. So if you don't have a room with a view, don't worry because there are so many places at this hotel where you can get to see that view and breakfast is one of them. And I think the breakfast here was absolutely stunning. You can order off the menu um, or you can order off of the, uh, or you can you know help yourself to the buffet and the service is just Barnard. Shout out to Vicky, our Thank server. Thank you so much, it? Vicky. Uh, she's lovely. We're sorry we won't see her tomorrow. It's her day off, but she, you know, just she just kept kept pampering us more than than what we needed, and and I just I'm so grateful for that. Um, I also would be very remiss if I did not shout out to our butler Theodore, who really is the reason why we're in this room. Um, we have a short stay and I asked him yesterday if there was any availability for a room that had a view of the uh, Acropolis. And he said, just allow me a moment, madam. And before I knew it, he brought us up to this room. And by the way, we, we were originally in a, a room on the Butler um, category. So, of course, I think that probably helped. In addition, we do have status with Bonvoy Marriott. Uh, we're ambassador, and I think that helped as well. Yeah, the suite we're in was beautiful, and it was it nothing was to complain about. Stunning. It was incredible, yes, but exactly. uh, we, we did not see the uh, Acropolis. We were on the other side with the city view, right. which was great. But that right. being said, I'm just coming over here because right. the light's a little better for oh, you. Oh, okay. And I just want to say, the other suite was stunning. It actually had an incredible, I don't know if you noticed it, Jeffrey, a gorgeous, chandelier yeah still chandelier over the bed yeah it was incredible so i would have been equally as happy in that room as well but um this room is, is a little bit bigger however the the big coup for this room is that balcony and um we did post some shorts uh of the acropolis which was lit up last night absolutely stunning it was about 9 30 p.m from the balcony and we sat out there in our luscious fret robes for about an hour and a half. I mean, I just, I didn't want to get in bed. Yeah, it was incredible. Well, let's go through and do our five pearl rating because we have to get to the Acropolis. We're gonna go over there and check it out uh, firsthand. So um, location, uh, if you're coming to Athens, Greece, um, being in this square across from the parliament building and a view of the Acropolis, I think this is probably, probably the best location 
period, bar none, right? Bar none. I mean, you can walk anywhere and everywhere that you want to go right from, you go out the front door and everything that, that you want to see is right here. Yeah, basically, our cab driver told us that any presidents or foreign dignitaries, anybody comes to Greece, this is where they stay. So we said, well, that's a good, that's good news. <laughs> so we figured if it was good enough for them, it's definitely good enough for us. So um, I also want to shout out to um, the entire staff here for this lovely note and a bottle of champagne. Honestly, I, I feel so incredibly spoiled. I want to just note, if you book here and you are lucky enough to... Um, be able to book that butler level. There is a separate check-in and it's really nice because you go upstairs and you get to sit down and most people that are coming here have traveled a long way and it's so much nicer when you can come up and sit down and you know uh, be face to face and they give you champagne etc. Yeah Not so that's the um so we kind of finished the location so five, pearls. five pearls and, pearls and now we're on to people which I think you were already there been there done that but you were just talking about so the people here have been incredible, so I give the staff five pearls as well. Five plus pearls too. And you, all we, we mentioned staff. all those people, which was incredible. Uh, cleanliness of this place, that's your big one. I don't think you have to worry about it here. Oh my goodness. Let me just tell you, even the plugs, the top of the, of the lamps that are plugged in have been cleaned. This brings it to another level. Um, it's absolutely immaculate. I have to give it five plus pearls. Jeffrey and I have talked about possibly uh, starting another channel on, um, uh, we were talking about possibly starting a channel on the, snob, the snobbish side of... Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. I don't think it's a good idea. Hotel <laughs> because I do look at things like that, and I do look under the bed. I'm not so snobbish that I can't stay in a residence inn or something like that. So we stay in lots of them. Watch our yeah. videos. We stay in a lot of low-end hotels, but I still expect them to be clean. So I thought that could be a fun uh, aside, but let us know. You might think it's silly. Um, anyway, so the next thing, Jeffrey, then would be quietude, sleepability. Yes. I think you heard when the door was open. And yeah, I'm going to open it one more time because it was so uh, noisy out there. Right? But, um, but again, so yes, yeah, so just so you can get a handle on. So, you know, we're in the middle of a city. Right? Um, you can see how big this deck is, but right in the middle of the city, right in the middle of all of it. So when you come in here, that's the great news. So you're out here for the action, and then you come in here and it's quiet. So last night, I don't think I heard anything. I didn't hear a pin drop. So uh, quietude and sleepability, I'm gonna give it a five, right? I'm gonna shut in the, the I drapes. I love these. I think you're going the wrong the way, way, yes. Okay, but I just wanted to point out that, again, you don't have to get out of bed, everything. And this is very Euro. Um, I haven't seen it in the States. But they have all of the light controls and closing of the blinds. And you can actually control the lights out there, all from your bed. So if you get into bed and it's like, dang, I forgot to turn off that light, you don't have to get out of bed. Yeah, no, we, 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 I've got to remind you, we've seen it a few times. You know, you stay in some suites, maybe in Vegas and other places. I think like a large suite, you generally have that kind of thing. But yeah, it's, it's, we've seen in the last few hotels, we are staying in some of the nicer hotels, which it's, it's incredible. But yes, yes, the bed was very comfortable and it was very, very quiet in here. Comfortable. Um, I didn't love the pillows, I'm just going to say, because I have to find something that's not absolutely perfect here. I didn't love the pillows. Did you check to see above in the closet? I think there's extra pillows. There are extra pillows there, which I just saw today. So I'm guessing that the pillows that I would probably prefer are up there. Yep. And I'll probably swap them out tonight. I'm sure if I ask night, the uh, turn down service, they do it. But um, that's not something that I would do. Um, I am perfectly capable of swapping out my own pillows. Let me talk quickly about these sheets. They are outside. Standing. They're absolutely beautiful. Very much like the sheets um, that we had at the St. Regis. Again, they don't use pillow tops on their beds. Their beds here are much firmer. And at first, again, it was, uh, I want to say, just different. Because in the States, when you stay at a lot of the high-end places, you get into bed and it's like a cloud. This is very firm, but I'm finding that I'm actually sleeping extremely well here. Well, so Although I think I, you said I'm snoring more here. Maybe the firmness. I'm, I don't snug in, so maybe I'm uh, like an angry bee. 
Jeffrey is a bit of an A. I give the quietude, obviously. You're, you're not going to hear anything in the hallway. You can't hear anything outside. Um, they actually told us that they might be doing some work uh, last night. They had the rooftop restaurant, which we're dining at tonight, but it was closed last night to do some renovation. And they, they said, if there's any noise, please call us immediately. Um, and the butler told us to call him. There was, no, there, was no, there was no noise. There was zero noise. And it's just so funny to have uh, a butler because there's really nothing that we could possibly need um, a butler for. But, um, you know, some people might, I suppose, right? Yeah. Assistants. They did book our uh, reservation upstairs, which was wonderful because people come from all over the Athens area to dine there because of the gorgeous view at yeah, the Acropolis, and we'll do a short on that tonight. So that is this magnificent place. Jeffrey and I apologize for our attire. We actually went out for a run and um, went up the stairs to the Acropolis uh, this morning, so we just haven't had time to change. Yeah, we're going to head there now. But you look, you look fine, by the way. So any, anywho, so um, we generally finish up with coffee, which is uh, obviously here. It's been fantastic. Um, you know, it's funny. It's an espresso. Um, in Greece, I had just expected some really stiff, strong coffees. Ooh, we need to call the butler because the coffees are empty. Oh. Uh, just when you say we don't need them. Um, anyway, so um, coffee was incredible. The breakfast this morning, I mean, obviously... Coffee, I'm going to give that a five pearls uh, with Vicky. That was incredible. So let's finish with this view outside, right. and then we got to get off to the Acropolis. And Jeffrey said to me, oh, they have the, wor the Werther uh, candies here, too. But Jeffrey said to me at breakfast that, you know, when we return to Athens, there's absolutely no doubt this is where we would stay. So um, I highly recommend this stunning place. Yeah, I, and again, I love these railings in oh detail. Goodness. But check this out online. Let's see the hotel from the outside. Uh, incredible. I don't know, you can't really see it because there's a bit of a haze, but to the left of the Acropolis, you can see the ocean, which is which is absolutely fantastic. The square, lots of activity. There's some political speeches going on here last night. Unbelievable. So we're gonna get back out there into the day. Enjoy this beautiful city, beautiful country. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from Athens, Greece.